Hello, my name is Christy Cosina, and in this video I'm going to show you how to insert videos uh, into Adobe Captivate Lessons. So I've created this uh, slide, uh, just, you know, a standard slide with uh, a title, uh, some text, and then uh, some back and continue buttons. And um, now we just need to insert a video uh, to, I guess, show learners, uh, you know, maybe an example of, you know, what we're talking about. And I've chosen the topic of uh, Isaac Newton's third law of motion. So um, there are a couple of ways to insert videos. Um, like the first way uh, is uh, selecting media and inserting video. But uh, this is not the easiest way to use a video uh, in a Captivate lesson, uh, as far as, you know, my experience. Uh, because when you insert a video this me this way, uh, you know, it actually embeds the video uh, most likely into the you know, Captivate lesson. Um, you know, if you have a video that's sitting on your desktop and you want to insert it that way, uh, it, it is fully integrated into your Captivate lesson and it makes the file v bigger and it, you know, slows down the loading time uh, of the live lesson. So uh, I do not recommend uh, inserting video this way because it, you know, just kind of, you know, makes it slower f for you to load the lesson and for learners to load the lesson. Um, so what I'd recommend is inserting an object. Uh, go to objects up here and then go to the web. And it's a web object. And essentially it'll come up with this uh, you know, Adobe TV you know, web object. And this is kind of like the standard uh, you know, just information that's in here. So it starts off with this address. So I'm going to just uh, go over here into the embed code. And it shouldn't have anything here, but what I'm going to do is uh, go to my uh, browser, and I've already went to YouTube and selected a, a law of motion. Uh, I've, you know, I've picked a third law of motion. You can upload your own videos to YouTube and just you know embed it that way, or you can select uh, an example from you know that somebody else created and uploaded. So. I'm going to use uh, Newton's third law of motion from the science of NFL football. The, the National Science of Foundation created this video, so I'm going to go to share. And there's, it usually starts off with share, but you can go to embed. Uh, I'm going to control A and control C, copy it. And then go back to my captivate lesson and go to the embed code and control V, copy paste. And it'll, and then press enter and it'll load that particular video into uh, this lesson. So you can see that uh, it's got the third Newton's third law of motion um, you know, video right here. You can see the image. And then what I'm going to do is just kind of uh, drag and drop this, uh, you know, sh hit shift and drag it so it can retain the size and just make it bigger. Uh, you can see that there's some space here. So what I try to do is just make it uh, fill that space a little bit. Uh, let's see. It kind of takes some tinkering with, so you, you, know, you, you can uh, play around with it, see what works best for you, and then I'll uh, backspace, or back, or was it right click, and align, you know, center align just to make sure that it's centered on the page. So that was a uh, right click and align, center, in case you missed it. And then uh, that's it as far as uh, inserting a video. If you want, you can preview uh, in the browser just to see what it looks like. Um, it takes a second. Uh, you can preview it, uh, you know, playing from that slide or preview the project. Uh, you'll see how it uh, plays, you know, once you preview it each time. So, uh, let's see, because it usually takes a few seconds here. It's going to just load a a local host when it and then yeah, here it is and then you can play it and it s starts playing Oops, yeah, that's about it so um, if there's any questions let me know and uh, there's other videos if you want to watch uh, you know how to insert uh, captivate videos so uh, you're welcome to look at those if you need to but you know thank you for watching see you next time